Note, under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, all the videos I post on here with commentary and any sort of live streams fall into fair use. This is because all the images or videos I use in this channel are used to enhance my viewing experience, and they are all non-profit or used for educational purposes. These videos comment upon, criticize, or news report certain products or movies being released. Please note, any of my videos that are fall under fair use that are taken down or claimed by a third-party company that has no ownership over anything I'm speaking upon in the video will be fought against since it is infringing on my copyright rights, my fair use rights, and my freedom of speech. Thank you. So I may or may not be getting a little bit annoyed right now because I kind of can't even live stream on my PlayStation. And I wanted to have a fun little live stream for you guys tonight, but... It ain't gonna work because, you know, third-party companies like to screw me over. Anyways, guys, kill switch here. And since my live stream, I'm just gonna turn on mute. Um, since my live stream got taken down, there's a lot of videos I'm gonna talk about in more detail as their own videos, which I was kind of planning on doing anyways, but not to this extent because I was like, oh, the live stream's there. That ain't more. So, um... I would like to go into more detail in uh, separate videos, including possibly re-reviewing Godzilla Monster Planet here soon because I, I technically don't have a review up anymore because reasons, which I'm trying to decide if I want to fight the copyright strike or not right now, be, but as far as I know, I have the right to the video, whatever. Um... So one of the things I want to talk about was Mecha Godzilla 4. Now we saw a cameo of him in the movie. And something I'd like to talk about is there's a couple things I'd like to talk about. Um so to start off, his size. Now this interests me a lot because if we go by the mo logic, then Mecha Godzilla is most likely 50 meters tall. Now if that's so, how is he gonna fight off a 300 meter Godzilla? Now, if a lot of you, a lot of you guys probably don't understand what I mean by he has to be 50 meters tall, you know, there's no way around him being 50 meters tall. Well, the aliens in the movie, I forget their names, um, they ended up making Mecha Godzilla inspired off the Godzilla of that time period when they came to Earth. The Godzilla of that time period was about 50 meters tall. Now, if you put two and two together, you would assume that Mecha Godzilla is also 50 meters tall. Now, since he's made the fight him. Now, the Exilians weren't able to activate him, however, which I will get to. And he ended up just kind of being left in rubble, as we see by the poster. And, um, they... We can assume Godzilla 2, they're going to try to either reprogram him, I mean, like, get him activated, or they're going to try to completely redo him, like, remake him, the fight 300 meter Godzilla. Now, I don't see them being able to completely remake him, and I also don't see them being able to, like, completely, um, oh, what's the word? I, I, I guess, I guess activate him would be more believable, but the thing is, is that, First off, it's just our main human and whatever survivors survive the attack from Godzilla. And then we got, um, we got the, uh, tribal, like, I'm sure there's gonna be, like, a tribal person, because I doubt there's just one person, survivor on the Earth, randomly. Maybe? That just doesn't make sense to me. Now, um... With this, um, reason why is because the other aliens and people are up in space still. And I don't see them coming down right now. Doesn't mean they won't, I don't see them coming down. So most likely some magical way they'll end up getting him activated. Now what's he gonna, how is he gonna fight? Either he's, he's either gonna just throughout the movie fight the big one, 
or he's going to be used to fight other 50 meter Godzillas because I think that's a possibility that there's more 50 meter Godzillas or he's going to fight both. Um, it'll be a new take on the formula to see a 50 meter Mecha Godzilla taking on a 300 foot Godzilla. That would be very interesting indeed. Um, and I'm really curious on what he's made of and like what kind of weapons and stuff he has too. Because I'm curious on if he's gonna be able, to, if he's gonna be a Godzilla that can overpower, like if he's gonna be the Mech Godzilla that can overpower Godzilla, or the type that's just like you just hope. Um. So I'm curious on what that's gonna play out, and how strong and how well they'll activate him. Another thing I'm interested to see play out is exactly is he an AI unit? Now in the film, they were trying to activate Mecha Godzilla, and even though Godzilla was right there and about to destroy the base or whatever it was they were in, the way they talk though, it almost seems as if Mecha Godzilla is an AI unit. If that's so, it will be the first time we've ever seen an AI Mecha Godzilla unit because the show of Mecha Godzilla was being controlled by the aliens. The Millennium One was being, I mean, my god, the Heisei One was being controlled by the humans. And the Millennium One was being controlled by the humans, and a lot of people might say, oh, well, it kind of moved around on its own and stuff. Yeah, but that wasn't much of a, like, AI program. That was more of just a possession of the original Godzilla taking over. Um, so now, now we got, um, if this is, this will be a very unique take if this mech is a, Godzilla's AI. Because how will it act on t fighting another kaiju on its own? You know, we've seen AI units in Godzilla films before. We've seen Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar's... Actually, Jet Jaguar might be the only example of an AI unit I know of. Um, I don't... Because I think Mecha King Ghidorah was controlled also. Um, I can't think of any other... AI units ever been in a Godzilla movie. So, just so this will be like the first time we've had an AI unit since Jet Jaguar. If Jet Jaguar wasn't being controlled, I don't think Jet Jaguar was being controlled. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. And if so, that would be a very interesting spin on the Mecha Godzilla character. And I'm really excited to see how this character takes on Godzilla. Whether he takes on the little ones or not, I, I would love to see him fight smaller ones that are more his size and see if he's able to take them out by himself, because if so, that'd be very interesting. That just shows another powerful mech Godzilla, since these Godzillas are pretty hard to kill, as we saw. Um, if he took out the big one, though, just imagine that. Obviously, the big one's going to survive to the third movie, which I believe is going to have a new kaiju, which I'll theorize about in a different video. I don't know guys, what do you think about Mechagodzilla? Do you like the design? Do you think he's going to play out cool in the movie? What's your thoughts? Share in the comments below. And any images used in this video, just the disclaimer at the beginning of the video, none of these images are leaked or anything. Anyways guys, thank you all for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. Let's get the discussion going in the comments guys. As always, see you all, and peace.